Sweetville, an ideal community for happy, prosperous workers. No one who ever goes to live there ever seems to come out. I suspect all not quite what seems. I'm the Revenant. The Crimson Horror. That's what they call it. Weapons must be accelerated. Mr. Gillis, now we've got to stop her. In the Revenant, that Venom wipe out all the life on this planet. Hey there everyone, it's Jamie here and I'm going to do my review on The Crimson Horror, the latest Doctor Who episode that is currently out. So a brief synopsis of The Crimson Horror. Basically, um, we see the introduction again of Jenny, Madame Vastra and Strax who is my absolute favourite character of all time because, you know, he's just hilarious. So basically, um, Jenny and the, the whole group of them have noticed that people are popping up and they're dead, obviously, and they're red and things are not quite right. So they go investigating to see what is inside this magical place called Sweetville, run by a lovely old lady called Winifred Gillyflower. I'm pretty sure that's her name because I did my research this time. Of it. She has a blind daughter whose name is Ada, who is keeping a monster locked up in a room, who we later find out to be the doctor. Now, there's all these people and they're red and stiff and they're supposedly dead, but the doctor survives because he is not human and he is special. So it is a race against time to find Clara, save her, and stop this evil Winifred Lily Flower and her mysterious partner, Mr. Sweet. So if you've watched the episode, you know how it ends, or happy endings, and... It was interesting to see how Clara was kind of introduced to um, Madame Vastra, Jenny and Strax, and they obviously knew the other Clara. Um, and I think definitely it must have been a bit confusing for them, but as we know, Doctor Who is confusing. It's not supposed to be linear, straight line. It's wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Sweetball kind of resembled Willy Wonka's chocolate factory a bit, which I kind of found a bit unnerving, but still pretty cool at the same time. I was so happy to have Madame Vestra, Jenny, and Strax back in this episode because, oh. They just make episodes just good and funny and I love the whole Victorian era and oh my god, Jenny is an absolute badass. I did not expect that at all. She's like... I can see why Madame Vastra has a thing for her. Every single time Strax comes on my screen I find myself giggling and falling over on my side about how absolutely hilarious he is and he doesn't even know it. He just wants to blow things up and just be a war general with um, Thomas Thomas, the little boy, which is quite interesting. <laughs> I love him. He's like, oh, best alien ever. I was really sad when I saw the Doctor in the first part of this episode when he was all red and oh, kind of looked like a zombie a bit. So I wanted to give him a hug because he looked really sick and sad. But then obviously when he fixed himself up and then he jumped back out and he was all happy and spring again, I just put a smile to my face. It's, it was good. I like it when he's happy and it makes me happy. I think this episode kind of had a lot of um, vibes back to some of the earlier rebooted stuff, which I like because obviously we still need to keep it interesting but and still following the Clara storyline, but still have some fun and that kind of weird alien stories, which I kind of felt like we were missing a bit, but I, I like this episode. It was interesting and um, the Doctor's I don't know, because I'm not from England, but his accent when they were pretending to um, go live in Sweetville for the first time when they did that flashback, was I just thought was hilarious. Like just, oh, I can't, it's so funny when you're so used to hearing someone's voice and then they put on an accent, so that's completely what that was. Now that red leech who turned out to be Mr. Sweet was kind of creepy but kind of cute at the same time. I don't know whether that's weird for me to say that. It was because obviously he's like a poisonous leech thing controlling Mrs. Gillyflower's brain and all this kind of stuff. I felt really bad for Ada, her daughter, because she obviously really be like tested on and she was pretty cool though, which killed the the leech and there's some good moments in this, like some nice kind of one-liners and just 
some action going and it wasn't all out oh shooting 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 everywhere but it was still kind of driven and exciting so it's just kind of what I like I just like episodes that have a good kind of pace to them it was interesting seeing Clara go back um, into her normal time and then obviously her two kids I think she babysits them or she nannies them or something like that I'm like oh look we found pictures of you and she saw the picture of the other Clara who she knew was not her. So I don't know whether she's a bit confused whether that might be a future her going somewhere or whether she's starting to get a bit sus. Now it's pretty clear from the episode beforehand that neither the Doctor or Clara remember anything about kind of the journey they had because obviously they pressed the reset button and changes the way everything is which is kind of annoying but we get to know information they just don't get to retain it. So that's alright for us, bad for them. I think so many people were cute and sweet in this episode, like when the doctor first um, came up to Clara when he saved her the first time and they were all so cute and just like, oh, you're safe. I kind of feel like there's something between them, which I don't think the writers intended because obviously he's supposed to be with River and I kind of, eh, I can see it happening but no, I just try and steer away from the fan fiction that's going to be written about that. Also the Doctor was really sweet to Ada when she kept calling him his monster. I was like, just call him the Doctor, it's really weird, you keep calling him monster. He's not a monster, if you had eyes you could see he was really good looking, okay? But that was really sweet because she obviously was quite um, upset and kind of like <laughs> traumatized about everything that her mother had done. So it was nice that he was kind of consoling her. I like seeing his sweet side, I like the Doctor's sweet side. I also like his angry side, I like all of him. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Finally, this episode was good. I liked it. It had a nice pace to it. It was fun. It was energetic. One-liners, all that kind of stuff wrapped up quite nicely. I'm interested to see the next episode, which will be the Cybermen, because for a lot of these seasons, we always have Daleks and Cybermen in them now. Well, not always, but we it happens a lot now. So that'll be really interesting, because I love the Cybermen, and they've um, redesigned their whole kind of like outfit armor thing, so... That'd be cool. And the kids, the kids that she nannies, the Clara nannies, are also looking to be in this episode. It's just going to be fun. I hope we're going to have some more on Clara again. Because I think, I think ever since episode Hyde, they actually have been like, alright, well we need to put stuff about Clara in there because, you know, we kind of dropped the bait into the water and now the fish are biting and, well, they want something, so, which is good. So I'm kind of interested in that. I'm not sure, I think... Cyberman episode, I don't know whether it's the second last, and then we have the other episode, The Name of the Doctor. I don't know, maybe. I will have to look into that. I think it is, because if it is, then I only have like two reviews left, which is kind of sad. Well, at least until like the 50th, later on in the year. I'll have to look into that, and I'll get back to you. Also, I just wanted to say a really like big thanks to all the people that have been like leaving me comments and liking my video and just watching it and people that have subscribed it means a lot to me and just the same thing that people think I'm funny which I'm kind of not and cool because again I'm not you know bow tarts are cool I'm not cool but it's been a lot of fun making these kind of reviews and I've been thinking about more stuff I'm going to do so I don't know if you have any suggestions for things that you would like to see me do at a future date just drop a message in the comments but again a million times thank you to everyone that's been leaving comments you guys are cool and i just love you cool like bow ties